doing? Hey! Whoa, Nelly! Are you ready for some football? On the Clock presents the NFL Stars of Tomorrow. Welcome to the War Room. In the 2004 NFL Draft, this University of Pittsburgh star pounced on the NFL. Larry Fitzgerald, you are on the clock. When he was an NFL prospect, these are some of the comments by the scouts. As with quarterbacks, wide receivers are aided most by a strong rushing attack. A strong running offense causes the defense to play eight men in the box, bringing the safeties up to the line of scrimmage in order to stop the run. This forces the cornerbacks and the defensive secondary to play in single, man-to-man -man coverage with the receivers. This gives receivers better chances of getting open for the pass. The team's wide receivers must work in tandem to be successful. Both receivers must be considered a breakaway threat to gain the respect needed by the defense. The defensive coaches will be reluctant to double cover any one player if both receivers are equal playmakers in the secondary. Several teams use the speed receivers to stretch the field for the controlled West Coast passing game. The speed receivers are used to open up the field for the underneath routes, for the larger soft hand possession receivers, tight ends and running backs. Rookie wideouts are often drafted for immediate depth, short term and groomed to be the starter long term. However, if a starter goes down, the rookie wideout usually gets his chance to contribute much earlier in his career. Due to the complexity of most offensive schemes, rookie receivers are usually not a focal point of the offense until their second or third year in the NFL. Rookie wideouts are often used on the special teams units as punt returners, kickoff returners, and even on special teams covered units early in their careers. This wide receiver has excellent body control. He will maneuver his body to spot up for the throws. He will be a nightmare to stop near the goal line or when fighting for first downs. He has excellent run after catch ability. He will use his elusiveness and playmaking ability to gain the extra yards after the catch. He has the elusiveness to make even the best of players miss in the open field. Once he reaches the second level, he has that speed and acceleration to beat the defender's pursuit angle.
this player has routinely shown a second gear after the catch in the open field. He will be a breakaway threat each and every time he touches the ball. This player has soft hands and catches the ball well, away from his body. With his demonstrated speed and quickness, this ball carrier should be a mismatch for most players in the defensive secondary. As a returner, he demonstrates very good decision making and he will quickly gain the coach's trust. He knows when to fair catch, run or avoid contact with the ball. He has the size, smarts and toughness to wall off the defenders for the pass. As a possession receiver, he uses precision in his cuts to get open in the pass routes. He runs with purpose. His routes are sharp and crisp. He has the body control to hold and execute base and the quickness to cut and separate from the defender.